IET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics page 72 module 5.2 shifts in demand and supply rationale the study of shifts in demand and supply helps to predict the changes in the behavior of household and firm in both national and international markets key concepts demand shift supply shift excess demand excess supply 5.2.1 demand shift quantity demanded of a good by any consumer depends upon the price of the good and many other variables including income of the consumer prices of related goods and tastes of consumer etc the demand curve of a good is the graphical relation between the quantity demanded and the price assuming that all the other determinants of quantity demanded are held constant we know that the quantity demanded of any good changes when its price changes page 73 such a change in quantity demanded is shown as a movement along the demand curve suppose however the other variables determining the quantity demanded change in this case quantity demanded will be different even at the same level of price such a change in the quantity demanded is shown as a rightward shift in the demand curve this rightward shift in the demand curve is known as the increase in demand while the leftward shift is known as the decrease in demand increase in demand could occur because of the number of consumers in the market increase or income of an average consumer increases or the price of a substitute good increases the increase in demand may also occur if the price of a complement good decreases or the taste of an average consumer changes in favor of this good on the other hand if the number of consumers in the market decreases or the income of an average consumer decreases or the price of a substitute good decreases or price of a complement good increases or the taste of an average consumer change against this good then there is a decrease in demand suppose the income of the consumer increases and the good is assumed to be normal then the quantity demanded will go up at any given level of price we can show this as a rightward shift in the demand curve from d0 to d1 as depicted in figure 5.2 on the other hand suppose with time if the consumer develops a taste for a substitute of this good in this case quantity demanded of the good in question will decrease at any given level of its price we can show this as a leftward shift in the demand curve from d0 to d2 as indicated in figure 5.2 figure 5.2 shift in demand here we have a graph with two axes the x axis represents quantity the y axis represents price there is an upward sloping line here this line represents the supply curve and is marked as s0 there is also a thick downward sloping line here this line is the demand curve and is represented as d0 the demand curve d1 represents a rightward shift of the demand curve and is represented with the help of a dotted line when the demand curve shifts to d1 the point of equilibrium also shifts from e0 to e1 at this point there is excess demand on the other hand if the demand curve shifts in the leftward direction we get a new demand curve this is represented by the downward sloping 
dotted line D2. Now, the point of equilibrium is E2. It has shifted from E0 to E2. At this point, there will be excess supply. Page 74 In figure 5.2, let us assume that initially the demand curve is D0 and supply curve is S0. The equilibrium price and quantity are given by small p subscript 0 and small q subscript 0 respectively. Now, suppose that the demand increases to D1 while the supply remains unchanged. At the old equilibrium price, small p subscript 0, the quantity now demanded is more than the quantity supplied, leading to a situation of excess demand or ED. This will lead to rise in the price till the price reaches small p subscript 1, at which there is once again neither excess demand nor supply. Note that the new equilibrium quantity is small q subscript 1, which is higher than small q subscript 0. 5.2.2 Supply Shift In the figure 5.3, Initial equilibrium price and quantity is P0 and Q0 respectively. Now suppose that supply curve shifts from S0 to S2. This causes a fall in the price of the commodity to P2 and equilibrium quantity rises to Q2. Likewise, the shifting of supply curve from S0 to S1 leads to the rise in the price of commodity to P1 and equilibrium quantity falls from Q0 to Q1. Figure 5.3 Shift in Supply We have before us a graph. The x-axis represents quantity and the y-axis represents price. Here the thickest line which is an upward sloping line S0 represents supply. When the curve shifts to the left it is a loosely dotted line and it is represented by S1. When the supply shifts to the right, it is a closely packed dotted line and that represents S2. There are points of equilibrium which are marked for each of these. The three supply curves that were just described are intersected by a downward sloping line D0. This intersects each of the supply curves at points of equilibrium. E0 or E0 is the point of intersection for the supply curve S0. Here the points are represented by Q0, P0 where Q is quantity and P is price. Q and P are plotted on the X and Y axis respectively. When there is a shift to the left, E1, the equilibrium which is the intersection of D0 and S1 is represented by Q1, P1. When there is a shift to the right, then E2, which is the point of intersection of S2 and D0, is represented by Q2 and P2. 5.2.3 Simultaneous Shifts in Demand and Supply Now, we will discuss the case having simultaneous shifts in demand and supply. In figure 5.4, we assume that there is a simultaneous increase in both demand and and supply with equal magnitude. The demand curve shifts from D0 to D1 and supply curve moves from S0 to S1. The equilibrium causes no change in the initial price small p but causes an increase in the equilibrium quantity from small q subscript 0 to small q subscript 1. Page 75 Figure 5.4 Simultaneous shift in demand and supply of equal magnitude. Here we have a graph with two axes. The x-axis represents quantity. The y-axis represents price. There is a downward sloping line which represents the initial demand curve. This is D0. There is an upward sloping line which represents the initial supply curve. This line 
is represented by S0. They both intersect at a point which represents equilibrium quantity Q0, P. Now, if the demand curve shifts in the rightward direction to D1 and the supply curve also shifts in the rightward direction to S1 in equal magnitude, then we will have a new point of equilibrium at their point of intersection. This equilibrium will be represented by Q1, P. Test your understanding. With the help of supply and demand curves, show the changes in equilibrium price and quantity of the following. When the supply is taken to be constant. 1. Pair of socks if the price of shoes increases. 2. Tea if the price of coffee falls. 3. Butter if the price of milk rises. 4. Cars if the income of people rises. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India